My first step is to always use an eye primer to ensure that your shadow won't crease or fade. After priming my lids, I'm going in with Oatmeal Tan Eyeshadow by Coastal Scents on a C441 Pro Blending Crease Brush from Crown Brush. This is a light warm tan shade that's perfect as a transition color. If you're looking for a shade that's similar to Soft Brown Eyeshadow by MAC, this would be a good choice. Using another C441 brush by Crown Brush, I'm sweeping a medium matte brown shade into the crease, overlapping my transition color. This is another Coastal Scents eyeshadow and this is in the shade Harvest Brown. This color has just a touch of orange which really helps to warm up the crease while adding shape and definition to the eye. Next I'm taking a double ended brush from my Urban Decay Make It palette and I'm using the blending brush to apply Max Plumage eyeshadow. This is a deep matte blue green shade that will set the tone for the super smoky effect I'm going for. I'm depositing most of the color into the outer V and softly blending the color inwards in short circular motions. Once I have that applied, I'm going back in with whatever is left over from that Harvest Brown shade to blend out any harsh edges. Taking Max Paint Pot in Clear Water, I'm applying this onto my lid as a base. I'm using Crown Brush's C204 brush to ensure that I get a smooth, even application. Flipping that same brush over, I'm going in with a Jean eyeshadow by Cargo and I'm patting this all over the base I just applied. This is a beautiful shimmering turquoise shade with gold pearls and it's actually a great dupe to Max eyeshadow in Steamy. This shade is quite pigmented on its own but as you can see, using that base before applying the shade really helped to intensify the color. Now to make this look smokier, I'm smudging a deep navy blue liner onto my top lash line as well as my lower lash line and in my waterline. To do this, I'm using Cargo's Swimmable Eyeliner in Loch Ness. This pencil is ultra creamy and easy to apply and what I really love about it is that even though it's truly waterproof, it still allows for ample blending time before it sets. With the Sigma E21 smudge brush, I'm going back into plumage and using that to smudge and set the liner on my upper and lower lash lines. This is really going to give me that super hazy and smoky effect. I'm opting out on using black eyeliner, so to complete the eye look, I applied some falsies and a few coats of mascara to my bottom lashes. I already have my foundation, concealer, and bronzing and contour products applied. So next I'm giving my face a flush of color with Laguna Blush by Cargo. This is a gorgeous tropical coral shade that will look amazing on all skin tones, but you want to be careful because it's quite pigmented. After that I'm going in with Spring Sheen Blush by MAC. This is a peachy pink shade with lots and lots of golden shimmers, so I'll be using this sparingly as a highlighter. I'm making sure to overlap this color with that cargo blush for a seamless blend. For the lips, I wanted a super glossy coral lip, so first I'm using NYX's Lip Liner in Natural to really define and shape my lips. Next I'm applying MAC Lipstick in Costa Chic. This is a light corally pink shade with a frost finish. Now normally I really don't care for frost finishes, but I can't get enough of this color you guys, it's so pretty. Finally for that extra glossy pout, I'm popping on a bit of Cargo's Lip Gloss in Aruba. And this is the finished look! I hope you guys enjoyed this smoky teal look. All of the products used will be listed below as usual. Don't forget to check out my blog for more pictures and as always, thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye!